four. That's the year we forgot to pick up the speaker at the airport, Kay Rizzo. She was a great sport about it, but her agent, her husband, was not happy with us. She was a humorous speaker and we laughed a lot. Three young ladies, the Benton sisters from 3ABN were our singers. What a treat. Nancy Teller, one of our retreat committee members, presented a seminar called Putting the Pieces Together. The year before, in 1993, she was getting ready to leave home to come to the retreat when she suddenly bent over with sudden severe pain. She wasn't able to make it to retreat. Instead, she went to the hospital. They had diagnosed her with ovarian cancer. Nancy was determined to beat it and did everything she possibly could. So, at the 1994 retreat, she shared how God was putting the pieces together in her life for His glory. And she did serve God to the fullness for five more years. I do believe the highlight of the 1994 retreat that year was the quilt show. Down in the basement at DAA again, a little more finished, we set up a quilt show. It was so much fun looking at the handiwork of women in the Dakotas. Their humor even came out in their quilts. We even had a special women's ministry quilt made that year. Women in the different churches embroidered quilt blocks with designs that they thought represented who they were. Olga Bender of Tolstoy, South Dakota embroidered the women's ministry's logo on the center quilt block. Adeline Bender from Leola, South Dakota sewed the quilt blocks together and made it into a finished quilt. We moved in 1995 to a hotel the Seven Seas in Mandan. We had outgrown the facility and we just couldn't continue working as a hotel staff and run the retreat programming all at the same time. It was totally exhausting. For many years, Billy Walgren took care of the registrations and the logistics with the hotel. Penny Wheeler from Review and Herald Publishing was our speaker. Marla Wydell presented a seminar. Friendship, how does your garden grow? And we had a special program called Litany of Bread, where we served breads from many countries and cultures and presented lessons about their spiritual significance. Our praise team was Beverly Bender, Bonnie Miracle, and Marta Wydell. And we had two vocal trio groups, His Messengers from Bowman, Judy Kirschman, Chris Kirschman, and Becky Hansen. And the other group was Harmony of Praise from Sioux Falls with Colette Doss, Mary Mayer, and Jody Geem. For several years, we had what we called friendship groups in our morning devotional time. And the groups would meet with their facilitators in their sleeping room each morning for Bible study and prayer. It actually was good training in small group ministry. 1995 had been designated as the Year of the Adventist Woman by the General Conference. So we celebrated by having a special Sabbath school program at camp meeting. Elder Robert Falkenberg, president of the General Conference, spoke affirmation to women about their value to God and to the church. Adventist women from the Dakotas who had given many years of service in the church were given special recognition as representatives of many more women who serve God faithfully in their everyday lives. We also published a little book in 1995 called For Everything a Season, written by Dakota Women and illustrated by Bonnie Miracle. Retreat 1996 was so much fun. Rose Otis, the women's ministry director for the General Conference, was a warm, delightful person. Our breakout sessions were fun. The way to a man's heart, the comforting heart, seeking God's heart, connecting with your teen's heart, the caring heart, all about living God's love. 
Darla Anderson and Nikki Rickard, those are the people I recognize in the pictures, had a great skit about wearing the robe of righteousness. And then there was the bridal review. Young women modeled their wedding dresses. This was the first time my daughter, Lisa, had joined me for a women's retreat, and she modeled my wedding dress. Then she modeled her own dress, worn only three months earlier at her wedding. Presenters received heart wheat weavings as thank you gifts, and my husband, Ron, got his own special thank you. Dorothy Eaton Watts was our speaker in 1997. Her presentations were very interactive, with a lot of participation from the audience. Cleo Anderson raided her attic and brought all her hats. What fun everyone had with those hats. The praise team especially liked playing around with the hats. In 1998 was our 10th anniversary women's retreat. We had planned for Esther Knott, a pastor from Michigan, to be our speaker, but there was an airline strike that year and she was unable to make it, so we reworked the program. Dakota women stepped up and filled the empty slots. Ivira Harris spoke about, Lord, I want to know you. Evelyn Glass stepped in with, Soaring with Jesus. Jan Meharry put together an interactive presentation, You Are God's Bouquet. And we had a praise service where we thanked God for His blessings and paid recognition to Marla Wydell for pioneering women's ministry in the Dakotas. Everything else went pretty much as planned, including Saturday Night Alive. We laughed so hard. Gay Ozan was our MC. Debbie Wade and Becky Owens did a skit about old ladies. Charlene Hansen, well, and Anne Wom surprised everyone by doing the mammogram. There was a serious piece or two. Esther Knott finally made it in 1999. Her messages centered around Psalm 166, verse 13. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. We had a Sabbath afternoon tea called My Cup Runneth Over, where women shared their personal testimonies, and Karis Newman shared her testimony with powerful singing. The year 2000, New Century. Our speaker, Condi Vanderwerf, introduced us to Breakfast with God, and we've been doing that ever since. Evelyn Glass presented our special feature, The Bag Lady. She really had everybody fooled. First of all, she lay in the corridor near the entrance to the meeting room, dressed as a bag lady. One person even stopped by and asked her if she could help. Our meeting started and she made her entrance, interrupting the meeting, talking loudly and tossing her bags of stuff all over the podium. It took a while for people to figure it out, and she went on to talk about all the useless baggage we carry around in our lives. Saturday night, we enjoyed a hilarious evening playing bag games. You remember 2001? September 2001? We were reeling from the 9-11 attack on our country. Our retreat was scheduled for September 14. Everything had stopped. All air traffic was halted. Our speaker wasn't coming, so again, we had to regroup. Our decor was changed to red, white, and blue. Evelyn Glass, Women's Ministries Director for Mid-America, filled in as our speaker. Notes for that weekend are scribbled on pieces of paper as we put the retreat back together moment by moment. Friday evening, we set a bouquet of roses on the piano and had a memorial service for those lost in the Twin Towers. Cheryl Saunders led us in singing God Bless America and other patriotic songs. Sabbath afternoon, 
We took a riverboat trip on the Lewis and Clark Riverboat, and Cheryl had a mini concert for us. Traveling Light, Destination Heaven was our theme for 2002. Sally Stribe, who had been scheduled to speak in 2001, but who couldn't make it because of 9-11, was now our 2002 speaker. We learned so much from her. Spiritual lessons from the sea. Sally was a world traveler who went to scuba diving hotspots. Everything we did at this retreat was about traveling to our destination, heaven. Darla Anderson gave a dramatic presentation about being weighed down with too much baggage, fear, disappointment, guilt, and how we could lighten our load. We even had a heavenly banquet complete with the silver table, 12 kinds of fruit, almonds, and pretend manna. Saturday night, Phyllis Alexander entertained us with an impersonation of Victor Borga, and she really could play really well. Pat Wangsness and Evelyn Glass had us roaring with laughter as they sang the Lefsa song. Then we topped the evening off with Travel Mania. What fun. Ginger Church from Review and Herald Publishing was our speaker in 2003. There was Karen Todden's Jesus Heart Wreath again. All the breakout sessions were heart themes. Ventriloquist Gloria Walsh presented A Heart for Prayer. Heart of the Home was Evelyn Glass's topic, and Anne Huam presented A Heart to Serve. On Sabbath afternoon, we had a special program. These are the women we come from, a celebration of womanhood. Mary Rupert acted out a drama called My Mother's Apron, and Jana Marshall and June Rickard paid tribute to their grandmother, Lois Pike. Bobby Broughton spoke about seasons of remembrance and the issues of old age, forgetfulness, and Alzheimer's. Judy Kirschman did a piece about a woman in a nursing home called What Do You See? When you see me, and we paid special honor to Ruth Davis from Bowman, North Dakota, who was the oldest woman who ever attended our retreats. She was faithful to attend every year until she passed at the age of 94. <laughs>